so here's the box from Stanley's Greenhouse. Again, this was in downtown Knoxville. And it was so cool to just walk in and see all of these poinsettias everywhere. But look at this one right here that we were able to pick up. And I've never seen one like this. Look at this leaf. It literally looks like it was painted that way where like half the leaf is white and then the rest is that red speckled. And we really fell in love with these the way they look. And they have them in different sizes. You can get a super tiny one. You can get a super big one. But we really, really love the way that this one looked. Um... It actually needs a little bit of water, I think. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I just, I love the look of this one that had, like, the mix. Because I love white poinsettias. And I love the way that, like, this one just looked like it was painted on. It's not. Like, it's not. It's part of the plant. But it just looked painted on there. And I love that variegated like this. And it has even, like, a little bit of green. Because I like a little bit of green in with the poinsettias. And this one has a little bit. It also had um, smaller flowers on them than some of the other ones did. Like, some of the big bright red ones had huge flowers on them but I really just fell in love with this one just the way it looks with that speckled look but still with like huge accents of white on it this is the second one and this is the one that we're basically calling the traditional one because it has all the traditional red coloring to it and it's been in this corner a week Sarah less than a week um... almost a week and so far it's doing really well over here. They're supposed to have more natural sunlight, but that doesn't really exist at our house in the winter. So it's just kind of happily sitting over here next to my nutcracker with the lights. And it's not touching the light. Yeah, it's not touching the lights. And over here by the Christmas Village. So this is Sarah's. It's a pink poinsettia. And anytime I can, I will try to get her like fresh plants, but also like it's in their room and I'm not a big fan of plants in their room because they can sometimes get messy with the dirt. The lighting is looking really weird on the camera. There it goes. I've never seen a pink poinsettia before. Had you ever seen an actual real life yeah. pink poinsettia? Yeah, me neither. So this is the one in their room. It's near their space heater directly under their windows. I've never seen a pink one. They had pink, they had yellow, and they had white, which is actually my favorite poinsettia. I love traditional red poinsettias. Somewhere in this dresser, my side drawer, I have um, poinsettia earrings that I wear in the Christmas time. But yeah, I saw this white one, and apparently the actual genus of this is called the Prinsettia poinsettia. Point Prinsettia poinsettia. And I just really loved it. My grandmother said she loves the ones better that have like bigger flowers in the center. But I just, I don't know. I really like it. It has started turning green a little bit more. But overall, I just really love the way the white ones look. And they're just so elegant. And uh, a little bit of backstory. I actually almost got married on Christmas. And I totally would have had poinsettias as my bouquet. But that is it for our four poinsettias that we picked out from the nursery. This may become an annual tradition because it was just so much fun to be able to walk into a nursery full of poinsettias pick your size that you wanted and we all we didn't really want a bunch of big ones we wanted some smaller ones so we picked some smaller ones pick out size pick out color so yeah this may become just a new fun christmas tradition but that is it for today's video thank you to all of our members for supporting this content and allowing us to continue making videos and thank you to every single one of you for liking watching positive comments and subscribing and we will see you next time